If you've got a stubborn blockage up underneath the head that just you cannot shift, often what you can do is gain access to the underside of the head by cutting a little piece of J cloth about 50 millimeters by 300 mil and you can actually put that underneath the head of a desktop printer by moving the carriage across we fold it up into two and we're going to lay this down into what we call the platen so that's laid down in the platen we're now going to pull the head across a little bit tricky but we can we can do it it's easy enough push it across like so until we can actually see the other side there it is we can see the other side of the J cloth and we're going to pull that through a little bit now what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little bit of of magic bullet service fluid we're going to draw up about three milliliters and we're going to drop a little bit of this on either side so that's on one side let's go on the other side now a little bit of this on the other side and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually pull the either side of the the toweling across the head like this now what you do is you do a nozzle check to start with and if the nozzle check is missing in the same place each time it's usually because there's an external blockage on the head a little bit of inkjet ink has found a bit of paper dust to dry with because inkjet ink really can't dry on its own it needs paper dust to to dry on and what we do is we do a little bit of this cleaning about 10 seconds i would say and then you put the cartridges back in see what's come off here it's all this that's come off which is which is uh, which is what, what we need to see so and you put the cartridges back in do another nozzle check if it if it improves a little bit you just compete you just repeat the process until you achieve a perfect nozzle check